I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. You're a spaceman, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. So hi everyone, you're watching the Wrestle Rock Podcast. Uh, we are with my partner uh, Benoit, aka Nostradamus. Ben, how are you doing today? Fine, and you? Yes, 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 yes. Today we have a special guest, a WWE Hall of Famer, a living wrestling legend, Mr. Sergeant Slaughter. Good how to are meet you. Today? Good to meet you. Yeah, the, at ease, at ease. Uh, that's a pleasure for real. Yes, so yes. we're going forward with some questions. So yes. uh, what can you tell us about your experience training under Vern Gagne? in wrestling? Well, uh, Vern Gagne uh, made it so that uh, if you wanted to become a pro professional wrestler in the AWA, you had to go through his training camp. And yeah. one of his trainers was Billy Robinson, yeah, Robinson. the uh, British Empire heavyweight champion. So it, it was a tough battle. There was a 63 who started and only three of us made it, Chris Taylor okay. and Paul Pershman, who was uh, Buddy Rose. Okay. So the three of us made it through the camp, and uh, I don't think I'd be talking to you unless I went through that camp because uh, he made sure that if you really wanted it, you had to earn it. And during this experience, it was a, a tough period for training, if you know what I mean. So yes, it was yeah. tough training. Yes. It was uh, six days a week. Yeah. Six, six days, days a week. Oh, wow. And I was also... It's like in, in Mexico. Yes. Yeah. I was also... Uh, <laughs> Uh, working with my father, he had a roofing business. Oh, okay. So I would get up at 0400, okay. and then I would work until uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then I would go to the camp. Wow. And we would do that until 7 to 8 o'clock at night. Wow. And then I would do it all over. The only day we had off was Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mr. Slaughter, yes. how did you come to meet your former tag team partner, the late Don Carnado? Don Kernodal I met in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I had a wrestling match with him, and he was a very good wrestler. Uh, he had a good amateur background. And uh, later on, as I went uh, into Charlotte, North Carolina, he was wrestling there. And I was looking for a private. I was looking for someone to drive my camouflage limousine. Okay. And so I uh, offered him a position and I said, maybe someday we could uh, team up and be the uh, tag, te uh, tag team champions. So he said, you know, I'm tired of being the first match all the time, so I'll go for it. So that's how I met Don Granoto, and, and uh, we ended up winning the uh, NWA World Heavyweight Championships together. And uh, we lost them, lost them to uh, Ricky Steamboat and Jay Youngblood in the uh, co final conflict in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, and it was so popular that uh, they turned away 17,000 cars. The, the highway patrol told us. So there was a lot of people that got turned away. There was 18,000 in the building, and then there was probably 30 or 40,000 that got turned away. Uh, can you share with us your most memorable moment uh, from the from your time in the AWA? AWA, I would have to say. Uh, Meeting Lord Alfred Hayes, yeah, okay. he was oh, yeah. uh, a real uh, pleasure. And uh, in the AWA, we didn't wrestle every night. We only wrestled probably 10 times during the summer hours, okay. and then 15 times in the winter. And uh, so we all became good friends, and we all golfed, and we skied, and and did a lot of barbecues, and a lot of fun things together. Kind of like a big family. Yeah. Okay. Throughout your uh, wrestling career, did you generally prefer playing the role of heel or face? I love the villain. I love the <laughs> being the villain. You have the face for that. Yeah, thing, I mean. face only a mother could yeah. love. And uh, so when Vince McMahon asked me to uh, to be the villain, uh, being a Rocky sympathizer, I wasn't too sure if I wanted to do it because I was GI Joe, the real American <laughs> hero. 
but I figured it would probably make me a lot of money, and he guaranteed me a WrestleMania uh, seven. You were the, the world uh, champion. Champ, yeah. Yes. And, and so um, I, uh, when I won the championship, that that made me uh, a WrestleMania seven. And you were talking about the GI Joe. Uh, as the only wrestler do you, uh, to have your own GI Joe action figure, so uh, how did how did Hasbro Company approach you for uh, for this? Uh, yeah, thing? well, back uh, in 1984 when I uh, declared war on the Iron Sheik okay. from Iran, uh, Hasbro Toys saw the the reaction and the popularity of Sergeant Slaughter as the uh, hero. And before that, I was always the villain. So in between uh, the uh, Rocky sympathizer yeah. and uh, the other villain, I became G.I. Joe, and I was the first living G.I. Joe. Yeah. And I'm the only uh, human being that Real has action. both a G.I. Joe and a WWE Hall of Fame. That's awesome. Congratulations. The only one. So far. And you are the only one. Yeah, the only one so far because... Uh, The other uh, real life, uh, one of the others is uh, William Perry. Okay. But he, I don't the think he's in either, he's not in either Hall of Fame yet, but okay. I am. The refrigerator, we have yeah. the refrigerator. Right, and Roddy Piper uh, wasn't uh, uh, in the cartoon and the animated series, but he was a uh, uh, character and a figure that they made for a UK Okay. Uh, appearance that he did. Okay, okay, and okay. He was going to be the villain drill instructor for for uh, uh, Cobra. Okay. So he and I were going to have some matches together, yeah. but then he fit. passed away. Uh, yeah. The late. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Slaughter, who came up with the concept and name for your signature finishing move, the Cobra Clutch? Well, that's, uh, I, I used to call it the Slaughter Clutch. Oh, okay. And Harley Race. Uh, the NWA world champion uh, was running the Kansas City uh, area and the region there and when he lost the title he brought me in to wrestle in his uh, his company and when I was using the slaughter clutch he said hey I, I think you ought to use the Cobra you call it the Cobra clutch and I said I like that and uh That was in 1974, 1975, I believe. And I uh, never, never thought I would ever be in G.I. Joe uh, 10 years later. And uh, their enemy, of course, is Cobra. Cobra. So it all, I guess all the stars were <laughs> aligned that day. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yes, so uh, at uh, Ryan Rumble 1991, you, defeat, uh, you defeated the, the ultimate warrior Uh, to become the new world heavyweight champion. Yes. Uh, it, it, it's a funny question, but do you think that uh, Matt Showman was extremely sensitive with the setter, the setter on the ultimate warrior end? Yes, he was. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, I had, had no idea that the Macho Man was going to come out. Okay. And oh, so uh, I heard a big crash. Okay. And I thought somebody had dropped something, uh, broke a window, okay, okay. and I looked over and the ultimate uh, puke was okay. laying on the second rope, and I didn't know what had happened. Then I saw Randy and uh, his uh, manager, Sensational Sherry, running yeah. from the ring. Mm -hmm. And then I went to pull the ultimate warrior off the rope, but he was dead weight. He was knocked out. Uh, I so I got him into the ring. And I said to myself, I'm not just going to cover him because then Randy Savage will get all the, the glory out of it. So I threw an elbow on him. And then I figured he would wake up. Oh, yeah. And uh, he didn't wake up. One, two, three. I remember <laughs> that, yeah. And that's how I won the championship. And nice. Macho man. Yeah. Sensational yeah. Sherry. Yeah. God rest their soul. Yeah. And she the was, Alphans. She was a, a really good person. He was tough. Tough, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very yeah, rough. We discussed rough. with uh, Tatanko yesterday. She mentioned me that she, she was a badass girl. She, she was. She, she can, uh, can yes. knock a, a boy. Oh, yeah. Like Luna Vachon. She can beat most of the, the <laughs> men. Yeah. Like Luna Vachon. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Other girls. Yeah. Vivian Vachon yeah. was uh, really yeah. tough, and Luna also. Vivian was uh, Mad Dog's sister. Yeah. And, uh, and his brothers. Uh, They, they had some uh, great matches, and of course, uh, 
their, uh, uh, I think it was their cousin or uh, uncle that was Reggie, R- Rogi, Rogi Vishan. He was a goalie for the Montreal team. Okay, okay. The professional hockey team. Hockey team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they've had a lot of. Uh, a lot of sports. Yeah. I think it's Rogasin. Yeah, Rogasin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So I got to meet him one time up in Montreal. And I love Montreal and Quebec. Yeah. Best food. Uh, what did they call that? Smoked meat. Smoked meat. Smoked meat, yeah. Montreal smoked meat, yeah. Love the smoked meat. Yeah. And poutine, of course. And the uh, RC, was the RC Cola or the Pepsi Cola? Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi Cola, Cola Pepsi yeah. Cola. Yeah, nice. loved it. Loved Go ahead, my friend. Okay, yeah. could you share us your experience from uh, your match against the Immortal Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 7? The uh, the Immortal Slime Hulk Hogan? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was uh, they say that was uh, Hulk Hogan's greatest match, WrestleMania 7. And I was very proud to uh, to know that I had the uh, his greatest match with him because he he was a uh, more of a talker than he was a wrestler. So he could talk to Chrome off a bumper, but he didn't know a whole lot uh, about uh, wrestling moves. He didn't know a hammer lock from a wristwatch, you know. So, but it, it worked out good. It was uh, an honor. I, I don't get to really talk to him much, but uh, he always thanks me. And one time we watched uh, WrestleMania Seven yeah. together, and he, okay. after it was done, uh, the WWE filmed us. And he said, you should still be the champion, Sergeant, because there's a couple of times I didn't get my shoulder up in time. I said, I don't. I don't. <laughs> and um, you are inducted in a WWE uh, Hall of Fame. So yes. how, how has your uh, life changed, or how do you feel after being inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame? Well, I, uh, that was the first year that they gave the rings out. Yeah, yeah 2004. So it was a real honor. There was a... A lot of uh, legends in that class, uh, not only of wrestlers, but uh, sports celebrities. Uh, Pete Rose was inducted that year. Yeah. And everybody knows that Pete Rose should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame, but mm-hmm. for some reason, they, <laughs> he doesn't care anymore. So we all know he should be in there anyway. But uh, it was a real honor, and I was voted in unanimously. So. Uh, I think I was the only one that was ever voted in unanimously, and I was still wrestling. Yeah. So that's, that's what made it a really big honor, because I was still wrestling. It's and, a cream uh, of the crop. And in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. yeah. So um, as, you, as usual, for ending, my partner, Benoit, a.k.a. Uh, Nostradamus Ben, it's all about the French prophet, try to predict the future of our guests. So yeah. go ahead, my friend. First of all, I thank you so much for the interview. Uh, yes. It was a pleasure, Mr. Thank Slaughter. You. Thank you. Okay, I, pr- <laughs> I predict to you, uh, LT. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, one time I had my hand uh, uh, palm read back in 1972. And the lady said, you're going to have a long life. You'll have a couple of things happen to you, but you'll live a long life. You'll have one love in your life and two daughters. Yeah. Uh, I have Ooh. been married for 53 years to my uh, love at first sight wife, and I have two daughters. And you and, have and four uh, grandchildren. You have a grandchild? Uh, yes, also I have with, four grandchildren. Yeah, congratulations. Yes. Yes, and enjoy you. your life. You're super thank awesome. You. Appreciate it. Thank you so Safe much for travel. your time. Safe travels. Hope so they much. come. Thank no you so much. Problem. Hope I no come problem. to no see problem. your beautiful city again. Yeah. Talk soon. Talk to you soon, my soon. friend. All right. Have a great day. As you were. You're dismissed. Move out. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.